So again, at least 63 people have been shot so far this weekend in the city of Chicago. People scared to let their kids go out. Kids don't even play in the parks no more. We, we as a nation have to address our children. We have to give them a different value system. We can't let the culture, society, or the government, or the education systems be what form our children's values. We have to do it in our homes, in our families, in our churches, in our schools. We have to shape our children. I think the community absolutely has a right to know what is going on with respect to gun violence. All the killing, look it up, all the killing, a lot of killing been going on through that. I know so many little dudes just got killed over there in the last few summers. Our kids are the only ones who are out here in this world dying. I can't let my son go. For years, I had found myself at that cemetery. They don't know my pain. They haven't been through what I've been through. My son didn't have a gun and studied just being me and get out there and fight. He pulled the gun. It's painful at times. I always said that, you know, your kids should be burying you and you're not burying them. Some folks are running down the street, crossing 79th Street, shooting back at somebody else. A bullet hit him in the neck. Next morning, he was, he was dead. My daughter, Kaylin, she was on her way home, was shot in a drive-by shooting. When I walked into the, the funeral home, I couldn't even look at those papers. I couldn't write his name down. In Chicago, I gotta look at every college I pass, make sure you feel me, nothing funny going on, or anything. You gotta move around, ain't no more walking slow, you feel me, taking your time, or none of that. To do any help, any hobby, that doesn't require me leaving the house, really. And it's been that way for a while just because it's not really that safe out there. Shot five times, been a seven penitentiary. I ain't got nothing to show for nothing. If these streets take you, eat you, I'll spit you back out. People you grew up around, people you grew up with, yeah. it'd be unexpected. I wasn't expecting her to get shot or killed that night, that Sunday. Just of this month, it has been it has been 62 that have been shot, 51 that have been wounded, and 11 killed just of March alone. For those that kept their children inside and said that they were worried about their safety, well, that's why we're here. My name is Benny Lee. I grew up on the west side of Chicago. 1966, I became the founder of one of the branches of the conservative vice laws. People don't really get a look and see how when a person becomes a member of a street gang, the impact it has on the family. You can't kill our children. We will not tolerate violence. We will not allow you to shoot and kill our future. Yeah, the fear is always there. I mean, the gang culture turns into a real, a real treacherous, a real treacherous, uh, non-trusting, threatening uh, organization. The superintendent of, of the police Superintendent Johnson has asked us to notify him personally when there's a funeral taking place where uh, the victim, uh, the deceased was a victim of uh, homicide. And he is, he makes sure that there are police officers there for crowd, crowd control as well as security.